What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in, and welcome back to the Crypto Remora. We come to you every week and talk all things crypto, to keep you guys up to date, informed, but more importantly, entertained. My name is Wes, and I'm joined with, as always, Siri Crypto. What's up, Siri? What's up, man? How we doing? Doing good, dude. Doing good. Guys, today we're going to be taking a look at leverage trading. We're using Mux protocol today to uh, show you guys how to, how to do that. Um, basically, it's a strategy that allows people and traders to control a larger portion of a smaller amount of capital. So um, a great strategy, good way to make uh, maximize your gains, also to maximize losses if you're uh, if you're not careful. So without wasting any more time, Sierra, take it away, man. What, what are we doing today? All right. So the first thing we want to do, we want to put the disclaimer in the upfront video, you guys, just because you can use 100x leverage on MUX does not mean that you should. Okay. Right. First of all, second of all, never, ever, ever risk more than you can lose, afford to lose. And always, this is my personal role. This is rule, my personal opinion. Um, if you want to be safe in trading, the safest way is, is to follow the one to 3% rule, which means if you only have a hundred dollars in your trading account, you should only trade between one and three dollars per trade. Okay, this is a Wall Street rule. This is what the whales use on Wall Street. This is what they teach you. If you if you go to any financial courses, they always teach day trading. This is what they teach you: one to three percent of your total portfolio. So if you have a hundred dollars, that means you're risking one dollar to three dollars every trade. And let's say your win rate is fifty percent. It, if you win 50% and lose 50% of the time, but you're using leverage, this is the beautiful part about it. You can still make money even if you lose half of your trades. So if you lose half of the time, but you're, you're risking $1 and you're earning 3 your wins are always going to be higher than your losses because your losses are only $1, $1, $1, but your wins are going to be $3. Three dollars. So if you if it's fifty percent of the time you win, fifty percent of the time you lose, you still make money. This is what they don't really want to teach you on YouTube. A lot of shilling and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, YouTube accounts out there just say, "Oh yeah, leverage, you're gonna win," Go, and they try to tell you when to short or when to long. Mm -hmm. Those are traps, guys. Those are scams. We're not doing that. Crypto or more does not play that. We're telling you the right way to do this. This is the correct way to where you don't get wiped out. But you can yeah. also make some money. So if uh, we're going to be using the, the minimum on here is 10 USD. <clears throat> That's the minimum amount you can use on MUX. But um, if you use $10 and you slide that leverage trade, um, let's just do for an example. Um, if you're doing $10, that 0 0.007 worth of ETH is about $11. So you can see if you slide that leverage trader over, you guys, to 100x leverage, uh, $10 basically gives you access to $1,000 USD. So that means your $10 is worth 1000 bucks on the market trade. Now, the downside to that is your liquidation price is 1628 which means, I mean, if, if, you know, you're, if, if Ethereum goes down by $6, that's it. You're out of there. You lose your ten bucks immediately. So this is this is the this is the next segment where we're going to show you how much leverage we should actually use. But it's basically also to show you it's a great tool to give you access to more capital when you're only playing with ten bucks. You can have access to up to a thousand bucks per trade. So this is an incredible tool, you guys. Me and Wes wish we found this kind of stuff before the bull run last last time, but. Maybe it's better we found it in the bear market so we can learn what we're doing and we can show you guys. So without further ado, let's get in, man. Um, Wes, the first part of trading now that we covered the safety part is what levels, man? Are we going up or are we going down? Are we trading long or are we trading short? Um, and I'm going to let you discuss that right now. Uh, well, right now I have a long put in. Uh, not really doing so well right now. I think it's very important before you jump into trading to do some research on you know what's coming up, what what's the news like, what's the sentiment like. Um, are we in a you know bullish sentiment, a bearish sentiment? Um, you know what what kind of trend are we in right now? It's is good, and uh, you know like we have the FOMC meeting coming up. I believe this coming Thursday they're gonna decide on 
raising interest rates or not, that's going to have an impact on the markets. It's important to kind of be tapped into the news and, and everything that's going on in the background. Sometimes it's important to ignore it also, but uh, you just kind of have to figure out your own risk to reward ratio, like your risk tolerance, because you can maximize gains using leverage, but you can also maximize your losses. You need to know what kind of trader you are um, and practice discipline and patience. So yeah, it's, it's easy to jump on the charts and depending what time frame you're on, it's easy to jump in and say, Oh dude, this thing looks like it's about to pump. And then you zoom out a little bit and you're like, wait a minute, hold on. It's starting to dump. So you want to look at both scenarios, the bullish and the bear case. And then, you know, whichever one outweighs the other is, is the way that I go. Um, so yeah, Sierra, I am, looks like we're at 1636 right now. And it looks like on the 15 minute, if you zoom in, it looks like we just hit a double top and we're coming down. And the reason I put a long in right here is because it looks like we're trying to do a rounded bottom. So I do think we're going to come up eventually uh, and then get rejected. So I'm looking to take profits on this move, uh, maybe around 1650. And then I will look for a short on the shorter time frames. And if you're doing this, you want to be locked in on the charts. If, you, if you're at work and you're trying to chain, uh, trade on your phone, not the best idea, man, especially on short term. Like, it's okay if you're busy throughout the day, you don't have time to look at charts. That's when you want to look at more of the daily trading or the weekly trading. But on the lower time frames, you have to be tapped into the market and you have to be looking at the charts basically like all day, man, if, uh, if you're not careful. But yeah, the leverage, man, what are, we, uh, what are we looking at? What do you see? Levels? What are you doing? So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow along with you. Um, being that my shorts never end up making any money. So mm. I'm going to go long with Wes. I agree with the double top theory. I agree with the round of bottom. Um, even a potential double bottom forming right now as we speak uh, on the 15-minute chart looks like a slight double bottom. You had that mm. wick down. So we're going to go long. So first thing you do is go to app.mux.network, connect your wallet, and make sure you have some Ethereum there, some USDC. We're going to keep it simple, guys. We're going to trade ETH using ETH. But MUX is awesome because you could trade any asset you want that's on the list using any other asset you want. So let's say you want to trade Bitcoin. You don't have to have Bitcoin in your wallet. You can trade Bitcoin. You could trade the asset Bitcoin, but use Ethereum to do so. But we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep everything at ETH. We're going to keep around the same amount of money, which is the 1% to 3% of our portfolio. Yeah. So we're going to trade with 11 bucks. We're going to enter along. Um, and I agree with Wes. So let's keep it simple. The level we're at right now is 16.36. Wes and I are both pretty much in agreements. I think we're going to hit our head around 1644 yeah. before we come back down. So that's my that's my up target. So what we're going to do is we're going to click long because we believe the ETH is going to go up. Mm. Okay, so we're going to it's going to say market price is right now. This is a market trade. We're not we're not going to do a limit and all that. We're going to keep it fairly simple so our order goes through right away. That's a market order. So for ETH, 0.007 is the amount we're going to use, which tells you right there, which is eleven dollars forty six cents. Um, we're going to go long. And we're not, let me adjust the leverage. We're not doing 100x leverage. <laughs> so, <laughs> just so you know, if, if let's say we were to do the 100x leverage, that would give us a position of $1,080 for our little $11 we have. We have yeah. now a position for $1,000. Um, but the liquidation price is $1,628. So if, if Ethereum goes to $1,628, we'd lose that $10. Yeah, so we're, not, we're not doing that. But we're also not going to be boring and slide it all the way down to you know zero point one leverage because what's the right. point, right? Right. So let's look and see what's a happy medium. My guess is, if Ethereum starts to move the other direction, let's say let's go up to, let's go to twenty one x leverage. Twenty <clears> one <throat> x leverage puts in a liquidation price at fifteen sixty nine, which means that if if ETH goes down to fifteen sixty nine. We get wiped out. I'm mm. pretty, I mean, I'm pretty confident. I say that famous last words that we're not going to drop down to 1650 or 1569. I'm sorry. Mm. So what do you, what do you feel? Do you agree with that 1569? <clears throat> I don't think we're going to drop that low right now. No, right? I don't, I don't see that happening in the short term. And again, we're on the shorter time frame, So you, you're, 
you're wanting to look for that uh, local bottom or local top, depending on if you're long and a shorting. But the cool thing about Mux is, is you can adjust your collateral. So just because you're going long on, you know, at this level and you're doing 20x and you have your liquidation price, you know, set at, let's say, 1500 and then we start inching down there and you're like, oh, man. So you can you can change that. You know what I mean? You can adjust that, add collateral to it, and it'll bring your liquidation price up. So that's another cool thing about about Mux and, and doing these trades, and that's something we can kind of show on another episode. But essentially, you're just opening up another position and adding to your long and maybe bringing the collateral, or not the collateral, but the, uh, the leverage down. You want to slide that leverage down, and uh, it'll bring your liquidation price up too, so... And that, that's the most important thing. We're showing you the very, very basics in this video. So liquidation, the, the biggest thing you want to pay attention to is your market price, or I'm sorry, your entry price. That's when you're getting into the trade and your liquidation price, which means that's when you're going to lose. So always study your entry price and your liquidation price first before you ever enter the trade. So for, for us, I'm looking at it. If I'm using 21x leverage, that gives me a position size of $237. My liquidation price is $1,569, which means mm -hmm. Ethereum would have to come all the way down to $1,569 um, for this trade to be closed. I think that's a fairly safe price. I don't see us dropping quite that far right now. We're going bullish to the bullish side. So... Um, because we're watching our, our our trade right now, we're not leaving the computer, we're not gonna put in a take profit or a stop loss because we're in front of the computer. If you're not, you wanna click that little button and it'll tell you take profit price, you can put it in your stop loss price. Um, take profit means when you want the trade to close and it'll automatically close out and cash out your win for you. Um, stop loss means it's you don't want the market to go the other direction and if it does go the other direction, your stop loss is going to sell your trade out before you lose too much money. So that those are also very, very excellent tools for trading. But they're a little complex right now, so we're not going to get into that. We're just going to say we're in front of our computers. We got a $10 trade open. We got 21x leverage, so we have a $237 trade open. We're going long. We're looking at our liquidation price is safe. So everything looks good to me, man. If we're going long with this, we're going to hit the long ETH. It's going to give us a confirmation. Boom. Confirm long ETH on ARB. And it's going to ask you to confirm in your wallet. Once you confirm in your wallet, Arbitrum's beautiful gas fees are nine cents, which yeah, is right. awesome. <laughs> if you tried to do this on Ethereum layer one, you would be paying probably close to 57 maybe $60, um, maybe even more for a small trade like this. So this is why we're Arbonauts for life. And yeah, so once you do that, you can see the positions open. Mm -hmm. um, $11, we have collateral, but our our uh, liquidation price is fifteen sixty eight. dollars yep. And so yeah, so that, it was, that's that <laughs> simple, guys, to open the trade now. But what Wes was saying, let's say we're going long, but Ethereum starts to dip right now and you start getting scared. Oh, wait a minute, I don't, you know, I don't wanna just close. The beautiful thing about Mux is when you hit the close, you can always add to your position. Um, well, no, you don't actually do that. Where do you go, Wes? You, you hit Advanced tab? Or? Yeah, you can. Uh, you got to go to your position down at the bottom. Um, and then what are you you're trying to add collateral? Oh, okay. You have to hit that little plus button. I see. Yeah. yeah. So you hit the plus button on the collateral, and boom, it'll say, how much do you want to add to your position? So if you're getting freaked out and it's going near your liquidation price and you're like, oh my God, the beautiful yep. thing about Mux, right there. It's right in front of you. Um, Add that collateral. <laughs> so that's it, guys. So we just showed you how to go long on Mux using leverage. Make sure you're, um, make sure that you're practicing good... Um, discipline, man. Discipline. The one, the 1 to 3% rule. I cannot yep. tell you. I can't stress that enough. Make sure you do that because... That's going to keep you alive. That's going to keep your confidence up as a trader. Because even if we lose this trade, it's not going to wipe our portfolio out completely. Yep. But if we win, the beautiful part is we put 10 bucks on the line. But if we win, 
we have a $237 position open. This is the power of leverage, and this is safe portfolio management. This is safe risk management. Yep. For yourself, you have to find your own numbers. You have to do your own evaluation with how much you can afford to lose, and never trade with more than you can afford to lose ever. So, I just want to put it. that out there. That's it. Yeah, we're gonna do a series of these uh, videos, guys, to kind of give you the ins and outs of trading. There's a lot more you can do. So, look for the um, some some more episodes, man. Some more videos on this. We want you guys to be ready and prepared for this next bull run. So. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to it, man, for the basic trading? No, that's a basic long, and we are going to do an update to this video. We're going yep. to be watching the, the video, or I'm sorry, watching the charts all day. So once we get a significant move, um, if we're, it's in the good direction, we're going to close it and show you what we made. If it's in the bad direction and we close it, we're going to show you what we lost. But either way, we're going to update the video. Hmm. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna make we're gonna do one more um, on the short side so people understand yeah. both sides. Do it on the short side, and I think another thing that would be good to talk about, man, is different strategies, man. Like I was saying earlier, man, being a liquidity provider, um, you know, yield farming. Absolutely. There's so much you can do with this. This is just the bare bones, basic, make your first trade kind of thing, man. But you can see it on Mux at the top. There's liquidity stake. So, so much stuff going on here so uh yeah we'll we'll get into all that on another video all right guys i think that's gonna do it man guys make sure you are subscribed to the channel make sure you hit the like share with as many people as possible and uh yeah follow us on all the socials at the crypto remora at sierra crypto and at crypto macgyver for myself so thank you so much much love to you guys much love to the arbonauts and until next time peace out